Hello everyone, Ryan from AstroQ. Today I'm going to be getting my scope ready for Galaxy Season. So what I'm going to be doing is fitting a focal reducer and a field flattener to um, my Zenistar 81 scope. Um, this is a focal reducer and a field flattener, so that's quite nice. Um, and I'll go into a little bit more detail once we get to that bit. First off, what I'm going to do is start to fit this. And I need to do that by um, removing this part here. So I'll show you how to do that. Be back in a sec. So the first thing I need to do is undo these grub screws here. There's three of them. You've got one there, one there, and then one on the opposite side. This will make a triangle. Help lines things up. So I'm going to undo these, then I'm going to install the focus ring, which is an extra, which is a bit disappointing with this scope, but it is a nice scope, so I'm not going to complain too much. Right, so I've just finished unscrewing these Allen screws here. Next up, I'm going to undo the blue thing that holds the, um, I don't know what you'd call it, blue thing. Anyway, whatever happens, I've got to unscrew it, so that's what I'm going to do. There we go. I might be able to pick up on the free, that's where it interacts with the, the threads to lock it on. You see the three holes there? Right, next up, we put the focal reducer on. And that would just screw into here, where the other one come from. Just take it easy, try not to cross the threads, get a feel for it once you feel it. Sit nice and smooth, on it goes. That's it, give it a little bit of a nip up. Don't want to go too crazy, but that should be good. So now I'm going to install the field flattener, just take it off this part. The dust cover. There we go. See it's nice coated optics in there. See the green gleam? I'll just screw this on. Maybe lock that off. There we go. I'm just going to nip it up because you don't want to over tighten anything because it might be a bit of a struggle to get it off later on. There we go, so that's nipped up. Now you can see, you can move that around. Nice, it feels, actually it feels incredibly smooth, it's really nice. Right, so I lock that off. Right, the next thing I've got to do is set the distance from there to there. Okay, so what I've got to do now is adjust the focal reducer and field flattener out to 5.2. Um, that's what the William Optics website says. I'll put a link in below. But um, as you'll see, the line's coming out there. You see that's a five, and then there's a dash. So, so we take it back to that line, and that's 5.2 ish there we go 5.2 then you take out this ring and lock it off and that'll give you your correct spacing let's take it up gently and then give it a bit of a nip again nothing too hard but just to make sure it's secure and that's that okay so next off i'm going to build the visual train i'll take off this Add in my spacers and then hopefully I've stacked it right. Um, hopefully I've stacked it right. I've got a 16.5 and a 13. I'll screw that on. The magic number we're looking for is 55 millimeters. Way to go yet. 
and plonk this on. Mm. I have to take that off the thing. I'll just change the shot around. Okay, let's talk about what I've done. I've in, installed the camera angle rotator, the field flattener, the spacers, the electronic focus wheel and the camera. The gap between the field flattener and the camera should be around 5.5 centimeters. Hopefully you can see that there is about 5.5. That should line up where the lens is at the back, just at that line there. So that's cool. Another key measurement is the, um, for the field flattener, that's 5.1 millimeters. Um, for that gap, there's lines on there, which is really cool. I've also installed the ZWO ASI Air. You can see that there. It always have my red dot on it. Plus as well, you can see, got the guide scope on. All I need to do now is wire it all up and it's fairly dark outside so i might even give it a whirl out there and see how it works